The Kardashian family's seemingly untouchable status in the eyes of the media has long been a subject of public outrage because despite being behind a laundry list of crimes, scandals and controversies, the media consistently turns a blind eye, instead choosing to perpetuate a carefully crafted narrative of glamour, beauty and success, but scratch beneath the surface and a far more sinister truth emerges. But why is that? The truth behind all that lies in the dark web of corruption, manipulation, and not forgetting getting in bed with the most powerful people that control the biggest media houses in the world to be able to control what is said about them. If you don't understand what I'm trying to say here, let me first give you the simplest examples of how the Kardashians are always protected and never exposed by the media. Let's start with the most recent instance where Kim Kardashian was brutally booed while at the Tom Brady greatest roast of all time. Unless you were there live to witness the incident or had a chance to watch videos of the live audience that recorded the moment in time, then there is no trace of this incident happening because when the event was eventually uploaded on Netflix, there was not even a sign of Kim Kardashian being publicly humiliated and bombarded with the booze. Thank you so much, Kevin. Well, thank you. I know a lot of people make fun of your height. That's not even a portion of how much they have been protected by the media because, get this, the past couple months when Didi was being sued left and right and his house being raided, there was a clear and direct connection of the Kardashians to his crimes, but if you check, there is not a single prominent media house that ever reported that. There are still more examples of how the Kardashians have always had the narrative ruled out in their favor. And before we get much more of that, let us first see who exactly are protecting them, which media houses are those, and what is behind their protection, or in other words, why are they being protected? Kanye West last year came public exposing how everything that gets out in the news is controlled. In what he called the red media, he talked about how the Jews are the ones controlling the media, controlling who has to be on top and who has to be on the bottom. He went on and listed all the media companies whose executives are Jewish and unsurprisingly, most of these companies exposed by Kanye West are working closely with the Kardashians. He named companies like Hulu, Disney, ABC News, Fox News, Washington Post, MTV Music, USA Today, Wall Street Journal, NBC Entertainment, Cosmopolitan Time, New York Post, and so many more. The red media. Mm. That is the red media. If you go to Apple right now, if you go to Apple right now, go to Apple Music. Let's load up the top 10 songs. I guarantee you they're promo promoting black serial killing. Absolutely. Not just one. They're promoting black. The red media is making money off of blacks being serial killers to each other. And I have no reason to lie. My family was taken away from me. My reputation has been smeared. When you look closely with this media he mentioned, these are the ones that work so closely with the Kardashians. Matter of fact, Hulu is the one airing their show at the moment and they also work closely with Disney and this perfectly shows that they are very much protected, that instead the media is forced to attack Kanye West who is always exposing them because he doesn't follow their agenda and when he exposes them they immediately call it anti-semitic which is why he was even severely cancelled in 2022 because the media is controlled by the jews and they're the ones who control people's narratives and they fed people with a narrative that he needed to be cancelled 
Anyways, when you also look at the gossip media-based companies like TMZ, the Kardashians are also deep in bed with them because TMZ's CEO Harvey has a very unique relationship with Kris Jenner. A report said that the Kardashians and TMZ have a unique relationship. Kris Jenner and Harvey Levin have been friends for years, and Levin recently interviewed the Kardashian matriarch on Fox News Objectified back in July. The two are known for their symbolic relationship, with Jenner allegedly providing exclusives for the website and then profiting off the clicks. So as you can already see, the Kardashians have got some serious and deep relationship with the media and it has helped them stay squeaky clean in the public eye, helping them stay safe from any potential harm to their public images. Which is why, when you think about it, the Kardashians haven't yet been successfully cancelled despite all the efforts that the public puts in due to all their controversies. Last month, there was a serious movement on social media of Blockout 2024, where the audience across different social media platforms were so determined to cancel many celebrities, including the Kardashians, because they didn't care about the genocide happening in Palestine, but the truth these, they have totally failed to get them cancelled with just their voices alone and the only reason behind that is because they are protected by the media which is controlled by the heavy hitters of Hollywood. When we compare this to how fast Kanye West was cancelled when he made those comments which were considered anti-Semitic, there is no comparison because his cancellation just happened in a blink of an eye and his billionaire status was long gone, but the Kardashians, no matter what they do, they always stay on top and they remain with all the deals they have no matter what they do because the media is not putting any kind of efforts to have them cancelled. Because of that, they use that chance to step on every single person that they can. For instance, when you look at their brands, they are all built on ripping off other people's designs, especially when it comes to Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. Just a little example, when Kylie Jenner released her Kai clothing line, she was blasted by this small creator who said that she copied all the ideas she had recently shared with her of her brand called Products. She said that we emailed Kylie and all her team products concept and language and a line sheet six months ago. Interesting concept Kylie, interesting. Thanks for the cosign, if your support. Another creator as well said that, guys, am I draping or did Kylie Jenner just rip off my entire collection? I've been dwelling on this for days now. My name is Jess, I own a brand Johansson and I've had a Johansson for like 10 years now. We launched a collection so similar to the collection Kylie launched, but we launched ours four years ago and it's been our signature range ever since. Anyways, all that and many more has happened and they have safely passed it all without a single damage to their name, but it gets worse because the media has also helped them cover their crimes because, for instance, there is this theory that Kim Kardashian, with the help of Britney Spears' former manager, they stole from her $600 million and to avoid further investigation, the media immediately helped her spread the stories of how all his money was just generated by her schemes company. It is a very big role that the media has played in the Kardashian staying standing until to this day, and the fact that their tricks are starting to get exposed now is a problem for them, especially as long as Kanye West is still talking, he will always expose them. The public has a lot on their minds regarding this, as one person said that the Kardashians have been in the spotlight for a while now, and I think that Kanye will be their downfall. He will probably expose them like they have never been exposed before. They are in a bad light at the moment because of Kanye. And another one said that this is how they stay relevant. And the last person said that Chris is more powerful than the devil himself. So there you have it people, if you've been wondering how the Kardashians have always managed to dominate the media and stay positive in the news, there it is and I want you to tell me what you think about it. Did you expect it to be this way? Did you think that they were this deeply involved? Thank you for watching, like and subscribe to keep updated.